Well, good morning, church. Um, thank you so much for joining me as I do this uh, devotional. Um, I'm pretty excited about being able to share some of my thoughts during this uh, crazy, crazy time that we're living in right now um, and kind of getting to just um, share some things that the Lord has been speaking to me during this time. Um, as it is with a lot of people, this is a pretty stressful time, you know, as a new business owner and, a, um, you know, Victoria and I are fairly new in our marriage. Um, it can be just kind of a crazy, wild time. And uh, these are the things that the Lord has really been teaching me through this time. So we're going to be in uh, James. So if you'd go ahead and turn there in your Bibles, we're going to be James chapter 1. And we're going to start in verses 1 through 4. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So right off, uh, you know, James, he is saying that he's a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is James, Jesus' brother. And uh, he's speaking to the 12 tribes in the dispersion. And what he means by this is he's, that Jesus chose 12 disciples to signify the 12 tribes of Israel. So he's not actually speaking to the 12 tribes of Israel. He's speaking to the 12 tribes that are signified by the 12 disciples and how they've dispersed and started to preach the gospel over the world. So this is all applicable to us. This is all in context to us as believers. It says, Count it all joy um, as we, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. So let's, let's just state the obvious. The coronavirus right now and all that's going on is a trial in anyone's life right now. I would say that everyone's life has been changed over the last month or two. Um, you know, you can argue some ways for the better as we've been able to spend more time together as families, as we've been able to kind of slow down a little bit. But you know, there's some really tough changes that are going on for, for a lot of people. So it's fair, I think, for everyone to say that we are in a trial of various kinds. So let's talk about that word steadfastness. Um, it says that when you meet trials of various kinds, we should know that the testing of our faith produces steadfastness. So steadfast means to be resolutely or dutifully firm and unwavering. And this is a hard thing to do, um, especially in today's culture, as we think about um, how the culture of America has really made us so independent. Um, you know, I know that when I, as I was growing up, a great stock was put on independence and being able to do, do things on my own. And the Lord is saying that we must be steadfast in our faith right here, that we should be firm and unwavering in our faith, even though these tough times are happening right now. Um, and the reason for this is, uh, you know, joy is one of the big things that differentiates us from an unbeliever. Um, being able to, to have something terrible happen in our, in our lives and be able to say, you know what, I have joy. I, um, I can take this and know that there's something greater that I'm, you know, shooting for. Maybe that's eternity. Um, that is one of the big differentiators between us and an unbeliever because an unbeliever does not have that hope that we have, does not have um, that next, that eternity focus that we have as Christians. Um, and so how we react in times like this, when there's tough times, is really what uh, shares the gospel. Um, you know, I, I was just thinking about how um, there's so much fear in this world. You know, there's so much fear going on right now. And uh, I feel like we have such an opportunity as Christians to um, take that fear and just turn it on its head. Um, to say, you know, I understand your fear but listen, this is what I have that's greater than that fear. Um, and really be able to share the gospel through those times. Then the last thing I want to say is, uh, if you'll turn to verse 12, verse 12 in uh, chapter 1, it says, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. I just wanted to leave you with a little bit of hope this morning. Um, you know, as the world kind of seems to be crashing down around us, um, we have hope. We have hope in the Lord. We have hope in eternity. It says God has promised the crown of life to those who love him. And um, I just want to leave you with that hope this morning. He has promised the crown of life. He has promised eternity to us. 
no matter what happens to us on this earth, no matter um, how bad it gets. Um, you know, for me, I'm a very success-driven person. And so I have to remind myself every day that it's not about my business success or how much money I make, but it's about um, staying steadfast and being firm and unwavering and running the race until the end.